So wasabi is a plant in the mustard family. And it's uh, used medicinally for food poisoning, as is the pickled ginger. Both the ginger and the pink coloring on the ginger, which comes from a plant called perilla, all three of those are kind of anti-nausea, anti-food poisoning herbs. So that's the origin of why it's, it's being eaten with uh, sushi. I mean, now we just think of it as a nice flavor combination, but originally it was there for to uh, prevent possible uh, problems with eating the raw fish. Most of the wasabi that's uh, sold in this country is either horseradish uh, with green food coloring or uh, dried powdered wasabi. Dried powdered wasabi is considered uh, not uh, kind of inferior to the fresh raw product. But even in Japan, the fresh raw product is pretty pricey. It's like the luxury goods, only the high-end restaurants would offer uh, fresh wasabi roots. And they actually bring you a piece of root and a little grater made of traditionally shark skin and you grate it onto your sushi right there on the spot. I think the ideal situation is next to a little tiny uh, stream like this uh, that we happen to have right behind my property or optimally right at a spring uh, so then you don't have an issue of flooding. The farther downstream you go, or even next to a river, you've got a big issue with the water level constantly going up and down. I don't really think of it as a very good plant to grow next to a river, exactly. Although in just the right situation it might work, where you know you had big rocks sort of on the edge of the river where you could nestle it down in. If you did want to try and grow it by a river, I would mulch it with some very big rocks so that it didn't get torn out of the ground. It likes quite a bit of shade, more or less full shade, I would say, deciduous shade, not necessarily evergreen shade. I don't think you can grow it under a stand of pine trees or anything. And so that's going to be a sort of circumneutral soil, uh, maybe slightly acid. The literature suggests that it's more pungently flavored on a more alkaline soil, like a pH of 7 or even a little higher than that which we don't have here. Sometimes I'll add some lime to it, but it doesn't seem to require that. It likes for its crown not to be in the water, but for its uh, roots to be down in cool water, water below 50 degrees. So that's kind of the limiting factor, is having a good supply of cool, clean water. The most of the United States is not really going to be appropriate, uh, except mountain areas. So I would say the Pacific Northwest, and then along the east coast, along the Appalachians, probably be the two best places to grow it. Possibly New England, but people succeed with it in all kinds of different situations. If you want to try hard enough, a woman right me who lived out on Cape Cod and she was growing wasabi. But as far as a commercial operation, I think you want to be in the mountains and have a nice supply of cool water. So a cool, temperate climate. It definitely wants some cool weather in the winter as well. It doesn't like the air temperature to go much over 50 degrees either, but it's less picky about that as long as the roots are cool.